What's up everyone, Skippy Kane here. In today's video I'd like to talk about a few fixes and changes that I think could really make GTA Online more enjoyable for everyone. To get right into it, the first thing on my list is no punishment for destroying personal weaponized vehicles. What I mean by this is when you blow up an oppressor, Deluxo, Stromberg, or anything like that with something like a homing launcher, you don't get charged the premium for it or have that go towards your bad sport counter. I think it's silly that you get punished for defending yourself from an oppressor or jet just because the player owns it as a vehicle. When a personal weaponized vehicle gets destroyed, no one should pay the premium for it. I'm perfectly fine with paying premiums for non-weaponized vehicles and having that go towards your bad sport counter. All right, the next thing on my list is fix off the radar exploits. When it comes to this, I'm not talking about off the radar glitches, although, you know, those should be fixed too. I'm talking about the CEO abilities exploit where you have three people work together. The first person activates ghost organization, then right before it runs out, the second person creates his own organization, invites them, then he activates ghost organization. The third person does the same exact thing the second person did. Once a third person is about to run out of ghost organization, the first guy no longer has a cooldown for his. So they just rinse and repeat the method and stay off the radar forever. I'm not sure what makes these players absolutely terrified of being on the radar. Probably their saturated 3 KD, but the KD discussion is for a different video. So the way this could be fixed is if you were in an organization that activated Ghost Org, when you leave, you cannot activate yours. You have a cooldown. This cooldown should be as long as the remaining time your organization had when you left, plus the normal cooldown. Now the next thing is fixed instant reload exploit. You ever see players that seem to be firing rockets a little too fast? They're doing this exploit. Basically they can skip the reload animation by firing their RPG, switching to a one-handed weapon, then switching back to the RPG. You can do this incredibly fast, and that's how some players fire a rocket nearly every second. This also works with the grenade launcher, homing launcher, musket, and any other single shot weapon. This fix would cripple a lot of try-hard players, and I know they're going to whine about it. The next thing on my list is fix AI lock-on. I'd like to see an option below the player targeting system that allows us to change what the lock-on system should focus on. There should be one option, which is the default one we've always had, then one that ignores AIs and locks on to players. If there is no player in your line of sight or lock-on range, it will then lock on to an AI. I'm sure everyone has had issues with trying to lock on to a player pointing your camera directly at them, but it still locks on to a cop. All right, my next thing is fix the wait time between a piracy prevention being over and being able to enable the anti-aircraft system. Usually when a piracy prevention is over, it takes about 30 seconds before you can enable the anti-aircraft system. I don't like this. Usually after a piracy prevention, there are still jets still trying to attack you, and it takes a bit before people are forced off your yacht. So being able to immediately enable that would be pretty helpful. The next thing is fix not being able to expand the minimap when there is a header on your screen. You know when you become a CEO, an event starts, or you start a mission, and the header comes up across your screen? When that's there, you can't expand your minimap. This is beyond annoying when you're in a situation where you don't have the time to pause and check the big map. But the thing or person you're looking for is just out of range of the mini-map. Now the next thing is fix the Sekiro server menu being unavailable. I'm not sure if this could be fixed. But sometimes the Sekiro server menu is unavailable and you cannot access it. I imagine this has something to do with the player list updating. I could be wrong though. If there's a way, I would like to see CEO abilities and CEO vehicles still able to be accessed. Many times I'm with my members and I need to quickly spawn a car or helicopter. I don't have the time to call the mechanic and my personal vehicle isn't what I need in that moment. Usually the menu is down for just a couple seconds, which is fine, but sometimes it's down for more than 30 seconds, which in my mind is unacceptable. Now, I expect people to disagree with this, and that's fine. I would want to rework the orbital cannon. I'd love to talk to you guys and see what you think. This goes with everything on this list. Tell me if you agree or not, what you'd like to see fixed or added, and how you think some things should be reworked. Please comment below and let's talk about it. Regarding the orbital cannon, I think the automatic targeting system should be reworked. It should only be able to target weaponized vehicles 
organization or MC members doing piracy prevention or stand your ground. The reason I think it would be fine for stand your ground and piracy prevention is because without teamwork or a strategy, it's useless. If used correctly, you could have someone kill people in a stand your ground or piracy prevention with the orbital cannon and while they're respawning, your members could quickly advance on the position they need to take. It doesn't guarantee victory, but it allows your members to have an opening at winning the mission. Also, they should add back the refund system for automatic targeting. It's annoying when you don't get a refund because someone is lagging and the shot misses. Or someone's in an invincible vehicle. It happens all the time. I don't think manual shots should be changed, though. They should still be able to kill players on the ground or in normal vehicles. So that's it for my list. There's a lot of other things, such as things that would make the game more enjoyable especially for low levels but i'll save it for another video if you guys are interested in it again i'd love to talk to you guys about things you'd like to see reworked added and fixed please comment below and also feel free to ask me any questions see you guys in the next video